नमस्कार लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन अ वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून टू ऑल ऑफ यू भारतीय प्रौद्योगिकी संस्थान गुवाहाटी के उनतीसवें स्थापना दिवस के शुभ अवसर पर आप सभी को हमारी हार्दिक शुभकामनाएं सादर अभिनंदन और इस कार्यक्रम में आप सभी का हार्दिक स्वागत है A very good afternoon to all of you. We take immense pleasure in welcoming you to this celebration of the 29th Foundation Day of IIT Guwahati. We are very sure that in the next hour or so, we'll be celebrating the achievements of this institute as well as the contributions made by the employees of this institute, which has. made it possible for the institute to be at a place where we are today i would like to take this opportunity to invite on stage the director of the institute professor tg sitaram the deputy director of the institute professor sachindra kumar kakoti and the registrar of the institute pradeep kumar roy sir to please come up on the stage दीप ज्योति परम ब्रह्म दीप ज्योति जनार्दन दीपो हरतु मे पापम दीप ज्योति नमस्तुते भारतीय परंपरा के अनुसार किसी भी शुभ कार्य का आरंभ हम ईश्वर का नाम लेकर और पवित्र दीप प्रज्वलन से करते हैं मैं माननीय निदेशक महोदय एवं मंच पर उपस्थित सभी गणमान्य व्यक्तियों से विनम्र निवेदन करती हूँ कि कृपया पवित्र दीप प्रज्वलित कर कार्यक्रम का शुभारंभ करें Thank you sirs Now may I request all the guests and colleagues present here to kindly rise for the institute anthem
Thank you. Kindly take your seat. May I now request the Director of the Institute, Professor T.G. Sitaram, to please come up and deliver the welcome address as well as a brief report on IIT Guwahati activities. Sir. Namaskar, a warm greetings to all of you on this 29th Foundation Day of the Indian Institute of Technology, Gauhati. Very big thank you all who have always given their best to this institute. Let me warmly wish a happy Foundation Day of this institute. Respected Professor D. N. Barogohan, the Founder Director of this Indian Institute of Technology, Gauhati. And Professor Gautam Barua, the present Director of Tribal IT, Gauhati. And all the invited guests, our own Professor Sachindra Kakoti, Deputy Director, my Registrar, Mr. Ray, faculty and staff member of the Institute, students, alumni members of IIT Gauhati, and all our community. First of all, I congratulate all of you on the occasion of the 29th Foundation Day of this Institute. Today happens to be the special day in the history of the IIT Gauhati. It was this day in the northeast part of India, a new IIT was born and established. In the year 1994, this institute took birth on the September 1st. 2000, sorry, 1994. And it has completed 20, 28 years of glorious existence and entering into 29th year. As a director of this institute, I have been privileged to be part of this exciting journey of this institution for the last three years and about two, two and a half months. Institutions are actually known to be synonymous with the people who had built them. IIT Gohati today has two the past directors with us who have built this institute to this level. In addition to that, IIT Gohati is synonymous with the people of Assam. I know why this is very important because it was the, it, it is the institute which started with the movement of the Assam Students' Union. And some of you had not chance to see our wall of the IITG. Please, you know, when you enter the administration building, go to the Dean Public Relation Branding Office. It's a beautifully carved out with very nice memories of the world and you know, how it was constructed using the technologies of those days. <laughs> so there is a photo picture and also all the director's uh, contributions have been depicted in that room, in the ground floor of the administration building, just below the director's office. Please, uh, after this event, if you, have, if you find time, please just visit that. It's a very nice uh, wall uh, in the Dean Public Relations Office, which has been made very recently. We have uh, close to about 19,000 alumni who have graduated from this Indian Institute of Technology. There we have also put up the statistic in the same room before entering that room. We have put up all the statistics in a very big way you can visualize. Friends, two years back in July 2020, 
the union cabinet has approved the new education policy national education policy 2020 this policy would see an overhaul of the system in place of higher education in the country on this day it is good to remember the achievements made by all of you and particularly people whom we have invited today who have served the complete and superannuated from the institute they are our guests today they are our guests today so it's good to remember the achievements of them all of them who have made this institute to a great height within this short span of 28 years of existence IIT Guwahati has done very well in all the academic rankings. I will not go in details today because all of you are aware of it. In particularly the citation per faculty, Indian Institute of Technology Guwahati has surpassed all the older IITs in the QS world ranking both in 2022 and as well as in 2023. In 2022 it was 41 rank in the world and in the 2023 it is 37 we have improved further and uh, it is the second best in the country so that is a very proud moment for many of the iit gohatians we have also done very well in many other rankings i don't want to get into the details today but uh, in the recent nir ranking also we have maintained the same ranking seventh and eighth in engineering and overall categories but our goals are very high. We need to reach, to reach uh, those goals to recognize as one of the world's top 150 institutes within the next two, two to three years. It's a big task. But there also, I think IIT Guwahati has done reasonably well, particularly even though we don't have a petroleum engineering department in the, in the area of petroleum engineering, IIT Guwahati is in the top 50 of the world. So the goal is to attract external grants, carry out research and development, specifically for the people of Northeast, with the establishing state-of-the-art facilities for all programs, attract international faculty and international student to spend time at, their, at this institute. This would enhance the perception globally, fostering academic excellence and freedom while maintaining the rigorous academic standards and to become a preferred destination for transformative educational experience with close interaction with industry. This is only possible with you know, co-locating with industry and having industry experts to be on our faculty roles. This, uh, we are actually at IIT Guwahati, we are trying to do this and also leap forward by embracing the rising demands of the newer and interdisciplinary areas of research and technology development by incorporating industry participation in offering courses in the futuristic areas of electrical vehicles, e-mobility, AI, data science, robotics and machine learning and also many other areas such as rural technologies which are very 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 relevant for the people of northeast design and manufacturing power generation and distribution water sustainable water area as well as you know landslides mitigation disaster management drone technology construction technology the many areas where institute would like to you know do start and we in fact started newer courses like in school of business school of health science and technology school of data science and artificial intelligence school of energy science and engineering school of agro and rural technology drone technologies sustainable polymers and also likely a mining school based on the discussion with the government of assam that the, the industry department wanted a mining school. Then you know we started asking a question ourselves. Where are the mining? Uh, what kind of mining is happening in the Northeast? Now we have to really do a 
brainstorming on that because uh, very few coal mining blocks are available in Margarita and pet basically it's a petroleum and uh, oil sector is the one which is uh, very old as well as doing well. But later on we find out there is a great potential for rare earth min minerals. That is what uh, government of Assam is after. So we, when we had a very detailed discussion with them, rare earth minerals and mining, the, particularly the limestone quarries and other things, then they have expressed very clearly that a school of mining or department of mining, engineering and resources has to be established at Gohati because presently they are going to Danbad, ISM. So we have a discussion and we have put a draft proposal to the industry department already. Hopefully it will fructify in soon. At this moment I would like to quote Walt Disney, if you can dream it, you can do it. So we are actually dreaming it. We are in the process of dreaming many, many activities and slowly we are inching by inch by inch to fulfill those goals or those dreams. The strategic commitment of our faculty, scholars, research scholars and students and also the staff, which actually should provide the roadmap of a long journey for an institution like Indian Institute of Technology, Gawati. This uh, strategy has been carefully planned. We have actually developed a document, actually faculty has developed the document called Art of an Institution. A-R-T, Art of an Institution. A stands for administration, R stands for research, T for teaching. So all these encompassing, how are we going to do in the future, future days, future days to come, and achieve what we wanted to achieve to, to be top 100 or 150 institutions in the world. These strategies actually will create a new opportunities for us, for the both faculty and students, for enhancement of knowledge, performing cutting edge research, and development of professional skills. The, our ultimate aim is basically to provide students an educational like, training that emphasizes innovation, social awareness, and professional ethics, while promoting the spirit of creativity among us, our researchers. I am very proud to say this year, that means the last year actually, our students' placement is also excellent. The place where this IIT was started when, in 1994, it was a place where many people wouldn't even like to come. Today, I am very proud to tell you, in the placement scenario, we were able to place more than 88%, but more than that is, all the students who are placed, thousand and odd students are placed, with an average salary of 26 lakhs per annum, more than many of the older IITs, all IITs actually, I can tell you. We are number one actually as per the India Today ranking. So the location has become insignificant today. Because all students, this credit should go to the students only because even the placement they conduct themselves with a group of students working towards that only faculty mentoring is happening. And then other major aspect is, you know, to do the research which is very relevant to the society where we live around. This also has really remarkably our faculty has done. You can see now today in the last two years I can tell you the media reports clearly highlights IIT Guwahati faculty's scientific contribution to the society. Almost every day we, hear, we are hearing one or the other uh, report of the scientific contribution of our faculty and our research scholars. This is incredible to read because in a, uh, in a society where we are always reading about negative news, uh, this is a very positive news to read about our contribution of our faculty and students. 
as you all know we have come out of this pandemic hopefully but at iit guwahati definitely we have come out of it because march 2020 our students affairs team has done a tremendous job to bring everyone back to campus so let me congratulate the entire student affairs team on this day i think a big applaud should go to them because it's not a easy job when everybody is thinking you know it's not going to happen i can tell you we are almost close to about 7000 7200 students on campus now by because je advances just happened last sunday so another 1000 plus students are going to join by the month of maybe october end or november first week so we are going to have 8400 students standing very tall for this institute because when i joined this institute in july 2019 we had student strength of 5800 and today we have 8400 with five new five new schools and close to about seven new centers interdisciplinary centers created completely newly in addition to this as you know pandemic has taught us to go online so we have also started thinking about we need to because as per the nep 2020 we need to improve the grass enrollment ratios so today we are at maybe at 28 26 26 uh, 27% but our goal is very large about 50% grass enrollment ratio which is to happen in higher education is going to be a great challenge so we cannot be happening with uh, complete residential programs it will not happen so we have to go online but you have to carefully choose courses such are very demanding in addition to that we can maintain the quality also so considering that considering that we have created a new associate dean online programs who is actually very busy working out programs with faculty members we haven't uh, in a hurry started anything but we are planning to offer multi exit four year bachelor's program uh, soon through this mode and also several masters program where we can maintain the quality without compromising their physical presence on the campus in addition the institute is also enhancing the curriculum we are also made a curriculum committee to discuss about how to bring in nep into our curriculum in view of the enhanced demands from industry and also academia that would ensure that the students are prepared for the broadened world of engineering and technological trends and and the sustainable development goals we have started offering a course on sustainable development goals compulsorily to all our btech and b design students aligning with our mission and uh, vision vision and mission we have redefined de- de- in our art of an institution document iit guwahati has always committed to student growth social upliftment and generate knowledge and resources for the benefit of future generation while instilling a sense of pride and belongingness while fulfilling the aspirations of all the stakeholders under the ek bharat shreshth bharat abhiyan which is a flagship program of the ministry we have tied up with iit jodhpur so that means rajasthan and assam culturally we are getting exchanged several activities have been organized by both the institutions and recently an essay competition was also organized by iit guwahati on the contribution of rajasthan culture in indian cinema during the pandemic our faculty were very busy not only we have given so many academic new programs many ideas were converted into products i would uh, tell you more than 25 products have been i mean technology transferred to the companies and one of them even attracted a bollywood actor to sponsor that i mean give an advertisement like karina kapoor giving a for a product of iit guwahati during the covid-19 pandemic many innovative ideas and online teaching were also adopted in these difficult times 
of our students have done very well and also i would like to congratulate the entire jamkhana team during the pandemic taken care of all the living stocks on the campus like dogs because many of them were not here students were not here to feed them ducks dogs were taken care by the student community moving in a electric auto rickshaw in the campus feeding them every day so a big congratulations should go to the student community taking care of not only just uh, people you know it's uh, all the living beings on the campus were well taken care our faculty has also done excellently well during the pandemic not only doing their regular day to day teaching job research because it's a very challenging days but uh, they have done exceedingly well in helping institute to conduct national examination even the cuet exam is actually happening on campus right now it's not our job actually to do it but we uh, helping the ministry to conduct these examination large number of students from the northeast are attending these examination in our campus I congratulate all the faculty who have done exceedingly you know well in supporting the institute activities whether it is uh, formal or non formal on this occasion i also urge our students also to do well further and carry the true spirit of the truth and support the institute to rise higher levels during in the coming days i would like to also say that many of our faculty have received recognitions awards which i would like to just read out some of them today it is not that i'm going to miss uh, i am very afraid that i'm going to miss some of them because it's very difficult to compile everybody's uh, you know awards and so let me start with dr john jose from department of computer science and engineering has been selected as the vice chair in ieee indian council executive committee professor biman mandal of bioscience bioengineering has been recognized by vignan prasar among the 75 scientists shaping to india's today similarly professor rakhi chaturvedi from head of the department of the department of bioscience bioengineering has been recognized by the office of the principal scientific advisor on the top 75 indian women in steam fields of science technology engineering and applied arts and mathematics similarly professor mahmud qureshi department of chemistry is a fellow of royal society of chemistry professor lata rangan uh, has received the women faculty research and innovation during the northeast research conclave 2022 held recently professor aditya n panda of the chemistry has been selected for the chemical research society of india and he has received crsi bronze medal for the year 2023 professor uttam manna department of chemistry has been selected for the chemical research society of india and also received crsi bronze medal among the students mr rajanandan choudhury das research scholar has received prestigious shyama prasad mukherjee's fellowship in physical science based on his excellent performances in the csir ugc net and then dr mr apurva das of the department of physics won the persistent systems cash prize of rupees 5 lakhs in the national bio entrepreneurship competition mr samik mitra of department of physics has, uh, has won the pain young researcher award for the best oral presentation in the astrophysics and cosmology section of the conference held in tripura university rankit gaur ramanujam fellow at the school of energy science and engineering received the best oral presentation award shubham maurya and devdatta senagupta students of the center for disaster management participated and secured third place in the innovation challenge under gramothan 2022 for transforming rural india in line with atmanirbhar bharat abhiyan for their project title development of a monitoring application used for systematic pre disaster management to develop a self sustaining disaster resilient community priyanka panigrahi has been awarded the qualcom innovation fellowship for india 2022 she is a phd student uh, in the computer science and engineering at iit guwahati so many many more there i just uh, read out some of the samples which has been supplied to me we are also looking at expansion of our activities with new infrastructure like a new building for bioscience bioengineering is already under construction with undergraduate lab 
and uh, we have also new building for undergraduate labs both physics chemistry so that we can use those facilities for teachers training of the northeastern institutions also in addition to the undergraduate uh, uh, laboratories we are also building an international hostel so that we can attract a large number of international students faculty housing is almost under completion with uh, about 160 thing expansion of academic blocks has been completed completion of r&d building the top floors classroom complex and the new research park building is almost ready to house uh, and it is already houses about 25 companies which are co-located within the institute so we have taken a pledge that we are going to go multidisciplinary research programs so we have started a new phd program between the department centers and schools so that we can directly pick up the multidisciplinary uh, research students so as we move forward to transform this uh, vision of uh, multidisciplinary into reality we are going to create an endless opportunities to student researchers faculty and staff of iit guwahati i welcome all of you to join to celebrate the success of iit guwahati in the exciting journey to become a network of excellence we have started actually networking with many institutions in the northeast not only northeast even along across the globe as i as you know that we have uh, started developing joint degree programs with many universities so we are trying to embrace the rising demands of the newer and interdisciplinary areas of research and technology development and we have created actually new uh, areas which we have wanted to be in the forefront of development in the coming decade so we have created actually an implementation plan for the national education policy 2020 as well in addition the institute is also enhancing its curriculum as i told you earlier wherein we are bringing in a lot of uh, online programs into forefront on this occasion of 29th foundation day of the institute i once again congratulate everyone for the growth and prosperity of the institute and particularly today we have invited all the people who have superannuated from the institute both faculty and staff let me wish them a great health and also a great future and i also thank every one of them for their contribution to the growth of this institute with our collective efforts we can do even better both for the society around us and also for the nation with these few words I express my thanks to every guest who have arrived here today for spending their valuable time with us to be part of this very eventful day of the 29th Foundation Day of the Indian Institute of Technology Guwahati and I join hands and continue to work for the betterment of this institute and the nation thank you all jai hind namaskar धन्यवाद महोदय आपके प्रेरणादायक शब्दों के लिए हम आपको बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद देते हैं देवी और सज्जनों हमारा सौभाग्य है कि आज हमारे बीच इस संस्थान के वह सभी संकाय सदस्य एवं कर्मचारीगण उपस्थित हैं जो संस्थान से सेवानिवृत्त हो चुके हैं और आज इस शुभ अवसर पर संस्थान की ओर से सभी सेवानिवृत्त संकाय सदस्यों एवं कर्मचारियों को संस्थान के प्रति उनके बहुमूल्य योगदान के लिए हम सम्मानित किया जाएगा नाउ वी प्रोसीड टू अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ टूडेज सेलिब्रेशन दैट इज फेलिस्टेशन ऑफ द सुपर इनोवेटिंग एम्प्लॉयज ऑफ द इंस्टीट्यूट who have contributed a lot towards the growth of this institute we are very happy to have amit as today the founder director of iit guwahati professor jayendranath burhaguhai as well as professor gautam burwa who was here for director for two terms in iit guwahati 
Uh, we'll now commence with the felicitation of the present guests today. And I'd like to call upon stage Professor Dhirendra Nath Puraghwai sir's name to please come up to the stage. And I also request the dignitaries on the dais to do the honors. Professor Dian Buraghunhai, the founder director of IIT Guwahati, is being felicitated with a Pulam Gamusa, a citation. A plant sapling and as a token of appreciation, a small gift. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your contribution to the growth of the Institute. Now I'd like to request Professor Gautam Borwa, who was a director here, the second director of the Institute. So please come up onto the stage. He is also being felicitated with a Pulam Gamusa, a citation. sapling of a plant and a token of appreciation. Thank you, sir. We also have with us Professor Krishna Borua, who served the institute for a long period of time. Ma'am, may I request you to kindly come up on the stage? Professor Krishna Borwa is being felicitated with a Fulam Gamusa, a citation. A sapling of a plant and a token of appreciation by the director of the institute, the deputy director of the institute and the registrar of the institute. We move forward and may I now request Professor Anup Kumar Gogoi to please come on to the stage. He is being felicitated by the director of the Institute with a Fulam Gamusa. A citation from the Deputy Director of the Institute and a sapling of a plant by the Registrar of the Institute. Thank you, sir. Very recently, another very important member of our family, Professor Prabhin Kumar Bora, sir, has superannuated from the Institute on retirement of his, uh, on reaching his superannuation age. Uh, I now request uh, Professor Prabhin Kumar Bora to please come up onto the stage. He is also being felicitated with a Fulam Gamusa 
a citation a plant sapling and a token of appreciation besides the faculty members we also have many other staff members who have provided their services they have dedicated their best years of their life to the institute and we are so happy to have them today on this particular occasion amongst us i like to call on stage sri mohesh chandra kolita to please come on to the stage So Mohesh Chandra Kolita is now being felicitated with a Fulam Gamusa a citation a plant sapling and a token of appreciation I'd like to call up on stage Dr Brajendranath Roy Choudhury who was the registrar of the institute and sir please come up onto the stage he is being felicitated with a fulam gamusa a citation a sapling of a plant and a token of appreciation i like to request sri omarendra goswami to please come on to the stage He is being felicitated with a Fulam Gamusa, a citation, a plant sapling, and a token of appreciation. Thank you, sir. We have with us today Syed Farid Ali to please come on to the stage. he spent a long time taking care of the hostels where our students reside and he has given almost two decades of his life to this institute he is being felicitated with a fulam gamusa a citation a sapling of a plant and a token of appreciation we have today with us sri uttam chandra das he has served the institute started off as a deputy registrar and he served uh, in iit guwahati in that capacity after that he went to guwahati university as a registrar he came back and later on he became the registrar of the institute and he has given his service to the institution during its growing stage He is being felicitated with a Fulam Gamusa, a citation, a plant sapling, as well as a token of appreciation. Just last month, another very very prominent member of the IIT Guwahati family, uh, she had taken voluntary retirement to pursue her. other interests at this junction may i invite dr mala bhartakur 
to please come on to the stage for the felicitation. She is being felicitated with a Fulam Gamusa, a citation, sapling of a plant, and a token of appreciation. Thank you, ma'am. I'd like to call upon stage Sri Dipayan Bhagavati, who has served the institute as an electrical engineer for over two decades. And here he is today with us on this, on the occasion of the foundation day of the institute. So he is being felicitated with a Fulam Gamusa. A citation. a sapling of a plant and a token of appreciation. Thank you, sir. Sri Binut Chandra Kalita. He has also spent many years looking after the students' interest in the hostels. Please come on up on the stage, please. He is being felicitated with a Fulam Gamusa, a citation, a plant sapling, and a token of appreciation. Thank you, sir. I will also like to take this opportunity to invite upon stage Sri Bhakanto Kumar Kalita, who also served the hostels of the institute for a very long time. Sri Kolita is being felicitated with her Fulam Gamusa, a citation, a plant sapling, and a token of appreciation. Thank you, sir, for your services. We would like to call upon stage Sri Prabhat Boiso. He served the institute as an executive engineer civil. He is being felicitated with a Fulam Gamusa, a citation, a sapling of a plant and a token of appreciation. Thank you, sir. Thanks for your efforts and the time that you have given to this institute. Next one is Sri Sorup Kumar Ghosh. I request you to please come on to the stage. Sri Ghosh is being felicitated with a Fulam Gamusa, a citation, a plant sapling, and a token of appreciation. Next, I request Sri Raghunath Kakoti to please come on to the stage.
Sri Raghunath Kakuti retired from the IPM section. He is being felicitated with a uh, Fulam Gamusa, a citation, a sapling of a plant, and a token of appreciation. Thank you. Thank you for your contribution to the Institute. With this, we come to the end of this felicitation ceremony. We'll proceed to the next program. On the occasion of this 29th Foundation Day of the Institute, Mr. Aman Mathur, an alumnus of IIT Guwahati 2009 batch, he was a student of Electronics and Electrical Engineering Department. And presently, he is also the president of Alumni Association IIT Guwahati. And he is serving as a founder and the managing director of Edward Parr. So, Aman Mathur. I would like to request uh, Mr. Mathur to please come uh, this side. Uh, and I would also request the dignitaries on stage uh, to felicitate him. Uh, may I request uh, the Dean of Alumni Affairs and External Relations, Professor Mirez Kumar Purkait, to please come up on the stage as well. Thank you. I now request Mr. Aman Mathur to come and just share his thoughts as of now with the Institute and the audience that is present here. Good evening, everyone. I am Aman Mathur, BTEC 2009 EC. First of all, Respected Director Sir, uh, Professor Barua, all the other senior teachers, professors, teaching staff, supporting staff, and my dear stu students. When I was last here, I think it was on the eve of my convocation, way back in 2009, when this auditorium was first used for our convocation purpose. At this very stage, we were being facilitated with our degrees. And now, I am continuously getting the message from my son that, Papa, when you will come on the TV? Because it, is, I, it has been telecasted live on the YouTube. So the time has really flown. And, and uh, it has also been uh, telecasted on the Facebook Live, and I am very sure my batchmates who have been listening to this must be thinking that it is yet another prank of Mathur, who have been always known for such pranks. So, uh, in not, uh, if I go back 15 years back, not in my wildest of imagination I would have imagined that I would be called as a guest on the Foundation Day and would be given an opportunity to speak in front of such a dignified uh, crowd. Nonetheless, as I represent today as, as the president of the global community of IIT Guwahati, which is now over 18,000 alumni, as uh, Director Sir has rightly said, it, I am totally honored and filled with the gratitude that about the achievements which our alumni has able to achieve in all those years. I can very well say on behalf of all the alumni that the time spent in this campus, those four years, were the best years of our lives. Today we may have our lunches and dinners in the topmost five stars, but nothing can beat a rice plate ordered at the Coca market with, the, uh, with our batchmates. 
we might sorry i am sweating because uh, i cannot fathom of you know speaking in front of all those professors which we were so much uh, we used to respect so so much and today i am speaking in front of them anyway so today we might get chance and we you we do travel to fancy international destinations but you know nothing can beat a weekend trip to chirapunji and shillong with your friends which we used to have very occasionally even uh, even uh, last week during the india pakistan match i told my wife that uh, suddenly the memories of the 2007 world cup final is you know coming fresh in front of me when we you when we watched that match in our hostel tv you can have a fancy home theaters but i think uh, that feeling cannot be matched anyway uh, because i hold the position of the president of the alumni association i i must uh, I, one thing which i always say that this is a very critical critical period in the whole alumni community of iit guwahati because the first batches which graduated in the 1999 and 2000 uh, they are probably now 45 years old 40 45 years old so they are reaching the pinnacles of their career and now it is going to grow more and more as the community grows but this is the time where we have to create a linkages and the permanent structures to facilitate the communication and the networking between our growing alumni and this growing structure of the alumni and the campus and this is exactly what we are doing in the alumni association these days recently we we uh, it was a very uh, very uh, light initiative by one of our executive committee member that we should start a cashew talks like randomly you will be clubbed with another alumni of the institute of another batch another branch and i am amazed to see how effortlessly an iitg graduate of 2003 can amalgate with the 2014 or 15 batch alumni such is the strength of of the bond which we all share as the iit iit guwahati alumni which is glued by the magic of this great institute as director has actor director sir has said in his speech that iit guwahati has continuously has grown continuously as one of the institute one of the iits which is known for the r&d and the innovation the citation per professor is probably the highest among all of the iits i think the credit goes to the wonderful teaching community academic community professors and the whole of the staff here i think big round of applause for them <laughs> i am by the virtue of the president of the alumni association is also part of the pan iit which is the umbrella body of the all the iit alumni associations and i can tell you the growing stature of the iit guwahati is well recognized there itself there also that you can sense so i think this is a this is a wonderful period for being uh, uh, part of this institute and uh, i hope that uh, we continue to grow in this way for me personally for someone who was uh, dream of becoming a civil servant when i was in the fourth year of this of my undergraduate i eventually become i cleared upsc and became civil servant and then i decided to leave then tried corporate then started my own company and after running eight to nine years of my company the name of my company is at what we deal in the solar projects i can only tell the values imbibed during our stay here in the iit which you all the students sitting there might not be able to appreciate but you will do after 15 years maybe the values some some time back one of the in one of the webinar one uh, junior uh, one of the student i think they asked that what is your advice to the youngsters 
then i i told him that you know you you might not be able to recognize the values which you have been imbibed but that will take you forward and if i have to there can be number of n number of values and n number of variables which is important for getting a success in your career but three values which which i think is most important to get a success in business in corporate in job whatever you do number 1 the professional integrity the highest highest level of professional integrity and the honesty which is synonymous with the iitians is something which is unnegotiable and that was taught to us in this campus and we follow it literally when i created an organization i was i was having a total fund of 1 lakh rupees another 2 lakhs i took the loan but today we are inching towards 100 crore rupees revenue and we are present in the 20 states and the three countries i think you cannot it is still I, I, humbly i am saying that it is nothing as far as the opportunities lying in if i compare it with the opportunities lying in front of us and we are honestly we are no one in the, if you compare the achievements of the alumni probably we 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 stand no but no where but it is the values of professional integrity which took us from there to here number 2 is probably i would i would i visited adani's office some months back and i saw their first value there is a chart written there the values of adani group the first value they have written is the courage and i think to succeed in life it is very important to have courage for courage you don't need the degrees you don't need the iq nothing it is just jo hoga dekha jayega attitude that is the probably the reason the back benchers in the iit or any school they probably do better than or they they do better than what is expected because of that feeling of being you know having the values of fortitude and the courage to fight against the odds i think that is that is what is taught during your hostel lives and during your stay here in the campus which takes you forward and i think third which is uh, i think above all the two qualities or the two values is the value of compassion you cannot achieve anything on a sustainable manner if you do not have the values of compassion that is what we were taught during our stay when you look upon somebody needy in the mess staff and you out of way help them that is what you are doing the compassion and that you need to take forward during in your professional life that is what i have learned i am still i am giving the disclaimer that i am nobody to make any big uh, declare uh, you know any mantras or i can't give you anything but i can tell you one thing for uh, i can see a lot of students here one one uh, advice which was one mantra which was given by one of my senior to me was this that you know you have cleared je or you have cleared get but your the rest of the uh, uh, the objective of rest of your life would be should be to make clearing your je or get the least important achievement of your life you have to look beyond that theek hai ye ho gaya that's it now move forward i have seen people who have lived under the shadows of the clearing achievement of the clearing je so that somehow restricts your growth that is my learning so with this i would like to i won't take much of your time and uh, once again i thank uh, director sir and the entire uh, organizing uh, management to invite me today and share my views i hope that we all collectively work together to build the brand iit guwahati thank you Thank you so much Mr Mathur thanks for sharing your experience with the institute after the institute how it prepared to face life uh we are really really grateful to you for that 
uh, we are actually uh, people have to go back home as well but in between uh, just at this point of time i like to inquire with the student community if you are there if you have any query uh, any specific query related to his experience or how he has reached where he is right now uh, we request to you to please come forward and ask the question the same goes for our uh, for the fraternity of iit guwahati the employees of iit guwahati if you have any query kindly uh, come forward and ask the question to your queries to aman mathur Yeah. Now, with the guidance and the wisdom of uh, Dr. Kokoti, when he was the Dean of Infrastructure, we, we together with the uh, Dean Office, we worked hard and uh, got the subsidy from the MNRE, Ministry of New and Renewable Energy. So you see the solar power plants on the hostels and on the uh, department roofs. There, those plants are installed by our company, and the subsidy was organized. By, we got the subsidy from MNRE, and we are selling the power at rupees one rupee uh, rupees one rupee and ninety paisa, while the regular electricity tariff is about eight rupees for IIT, and we are generating about twenty lakh units from those solar plants in a year. So that that is a straight 1.2 crores rupees per year for next 25 years benefit for IIT Guwahati. <laughs> Kudos to IIT Guwahati for that. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Aman Mathur, and we wish you all the best. We now come to the end of uh, the events or rather the programs scheduled for today. May I now take the opportunity to request Professor P.K. Ayar, Dean Public Relations Branding and Ranking IIT Guwahati to please come up and propose the vote of thanks. Very good evening to everyone present here. So on behalf of the Institute, and the organizing committee of this event, I express my sincere gratitude to all our fam former faculty members, staff members, alumni, uh, Aman could come here, so thank you. And definitely there are many whom we contacted over phone. They initially agreed, but due to some difficulties, they could not come here. But we also express our sincere gratitude for their good wishes that they have sent to the institute. So you all are aware now the institute has been growing steadily and every aspect of uh, education you know, we are trying to cover and a uh, lot of new schools, new departments, new centers have come up and uh, you know, this is possible because of the immense contribution of the faculty, the staff and the students and definitely by the contributions you all have made, the retired employees, the former employees have made you know, since its inception. So we thank you all for your contributions and we hope that we receive similar support in the coming years also. The institute presently you know, has been doing very well definitely by uh, the guidance of our director, Professor T.G. Sitaram, our deputy director, Professor Kakoti, and we also have our new registrar, Sri P.K. Rai. This event was held with the support and guidance from all of them, plus the organizing committee members, many of them are present here. So many of them are in the background. So on behalf of the institute, I thank everyone for their contribution in organizing this event. Another major thing I would like to highlight is the very strong alumni that IIT Guwahati has. That number has now crossed more than 18,000. So like Mr. Raman, you know, I would like to really welcome any suggestions, you know, any other contributions that they can make or you know, that we can implement for the growth of the institute. Ultimately, you know, uh, they have the, they are the owner, they are the belongingness that they have, you know, uh, that, that's the major thing through which the institute, you know, gains popularity. They are there everywhere across the world. So once again, you know, thank you all the alumni 
and the students who are going to graduate you know we are very proud of you all and we hope that we receive the support that you have been providing and uh, let us see how we can enhance our interactions in the near future so once again thank you everyone and we wish all the former employees a very uh, you know long life good health and you know a peaceful uh, stay wherever you are hopefully we have more interactive sessions like this in the future thank you very much thank you everyone for joining us for today's event jai hind